remembered as a small child. Dad used to go to London, so I probably wouldn't see him in the morning because he left very early. And sometimes at night in the week, so I didn't, didn't see him as much. In the summer, I'd meet him um, as a small child, meet him coming up the road, so he'd come off. That's the, my whole life. I always remember him going off on the train and coming back on the train. So it's a big deal. And um, when I came to um, make the first record with the first Fisher's Z record, um, it seemed natural to write um, about him. Yeah. yeah. So the first time you heard it, you yeah. thought it was about you? Well, I, I, I tweaked, yes. <laughs> I, I thought there's something, there's something about this, yes, 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 <laughs> definitely. Worth the, uh... The only thing that was funny about it is the first line of the song is the hated journey on the train. And Dad, I didn't hate the journey on well, the train. I didn't hate the journey. I would have hated it, but Dad didn't hate it. He's got it all sorted, his reading and everything well, that he did. I wouldn't have put up with it if I hated it. I'm yeah. um, 10 years. I mean, if I hated it, I would have given it up straight away. <laughs> What kind of work did you do back then? Well, I was an insurance underwriter, always waiting for something to be turned down. <laughs> and I mainly, I mainly specialised in motor big fleets and working at a rate, hoping to make a profit at the end of the year. <laughs> oh, dear. Always kiss the wife goodbye, often wonder why. Seven in the morning, think it's time we had a change. How proud were you that John has written a song about you or dedicated to you? Well, did it make you proud I, that I'd written a song well, about you? Well, I, 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 in a way, yes, it did, yes. It did. Yeah, it's, it, you know, he's been with the music for as long as I can remember. As a, as a student at school, I had a Mini I was driving there, and we used to pile into the Mini with, with one oh, of his friends. I used to move all the bands the drums on and laps and, and, and Mini. <laughs> Absolutely. Instead of a football mum, you were a band well, mum. in yeah. a way, yes. Although, of course, he's very keen on all the sort of sports He was a football mum as well. Yeah. We thought he was going to be a psychologist, but... No, no, I never, well, I never no, ever no. dreamed of being a psychologist. No. I mean, university was the functional way of funding keeping the bands going. So I've been in bands since I was 14, 15. Always kiss the wife goodbye Often wonder why Seven in the morning The producers always wanted me to sing like a monkey on helium. And one of the things that affected the, I think, the credibility of uh, Fisher's Z in England in the early days was that. Because if you can sing high, you should sing high. Yeah. And it was like a, com it was a competition, it was like a high jump competition with Sting. It's time you had a change, but wouldn't that be strange? What a waste of time. It's a cult. In England, it was a cult record. In the rest of Europe, it was a much bigger record. From Holland, Belgium, Germany, France, we were introduced exactly the same as everybody from The Cure to The Police to Simple Minds. And so we all came through the same record companies. Oh. And, the, uh, and, the, uh, press, and, the, and the press departments and the media departments in Holland were a good deal cooler than they were in London at that time. Yeah. Don't forget, John, that one or two of the critics that were at that time compared you and, and, and Steve it, as the Simon and Garfunkel of English music. <laughs> it's terrible. It's a horrible Simon thing to be compared with. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes, yes, he was there, the Simon and Garfunkel. No, it's really weird. Yeah. That's what they said. Worker. Worker. It doesn't apply to you at all as a musician. <laughs> I've never worked in my life. <laughs> um, now, is this also no. something that you didn't want for yourself? I think so, yeah. I mean, I, as a kid, I wanted to be a musician or I wanted to be a sportsman. Um, I've always, if there's a routine, I'll fight against it. The only trouble is, if there's something that's quite good, I'll also fight against it. So, <laughs> it's not very good for business. It's good for art, it's not very good for business. Mm -hmm. 